Chaz, I know you and your team are angry about that article in the National Enquirer. A sensational magazine and a sensational heading. But the content within remains the same and it remains solid. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you sufficiently taking care of yourself? Everyone knows about the dangers of being overweight, about the dangers of obesity. Obesity leads to heart attack, to stroke, to diabetes and a host of other illnesses. So what are you and the people around you doing to ensure that you're losing weight, to ensure that you're taking care of yourself? Are the people around you encouraging you to exercise, to eat healthy, to adjust your lifestyle? And yes, being transgender does add to your stress. It adds to it mentally, physically and emotionally. Did you know that this year, the National Gay and Lesbian Task Force and the National Centre for Transgender Equality did a survey with 6,500 transgendered people and found that 41% had attempted suicide. The attempted suicide rate for the US population is 1.6%. So yes, there is concern for your health. And ultimately, our mental and emotional health also comes down to the very thing that you're battling right now, self-acceptance. Forgiving, loving and accepting yourself. The second key to happiness, forgive, love and accept everyone else. The third key to happiness, freely express yourself. And yes, our relationships with the people around us also impact our mental and emotional health. Now your mum is back in your life. Cher was there supporting you on Dancing with the Stars. So, are you healing and rebuilding your relationship with her? Is she encouraging you to lose weight? What are you doing for the mental and emotional stresses in your life? Yes, it is about acceptance. I know what it's like to be bullied because I was bullied as a child. I understand what it's like to be mocked and made fun of. I have an adult client who's still suffering emotional pain and hurt deep inside because 25 years ago his mother disowned him, disavowed him when he announced he's gay. So it comes down to acceptance. But now you're in the limelight. You've been on Dancing with the Stars and you have to be aware that when you are on the stage of Hollywood that there's a lot of people who are after one thing. What can you do for them? These are the people I call parasites and emotional vampires. Look at what they did to Michael Jackson, to Heath Ledger. Look at Lindsay Lohan who's still suffering because she hasn't been able to heal her relationships with her mother and her father. So be aware that there's a lot of people around who really don't care enough about you. So make sure that the people you surround yourself with really care about you and are interested in your best interests. The other thing that's really important to remember is there was a very significant quote that was left out of that article. When I said how important it is to the fulfillment of your life to have meaning and purpose, to find your meaning and purpose. So Chaz Bona, if you found your meaning and purpose by teaching and promoting acceptance for those that are different to the majority, then I say good on you mate. Thanks for watching and listening.